What's up, you guys? I am sharing the full audio of the phone call between Tyler Perry, Monique, and Sydney, where Tyler Perry apologizes to Monique. I previously shared the audio in part, but I wanted to share with you guys the full audio so you can have a full context of what is going on between them. And if you recall, Monique feels like she's been blackballed and that she's received unfair treatment in Hollywood because she's been said to be hard to work with, allegedly by people like Lee Daniels, Tyler Perry, and Oprah Winfrey. Monique has publicly accused Tyler Perry, along with Lee Daniels and Oprah Winfrey, of contributing to her being blackballed in Hollywood. And she claims this happened after she refused to campaign for Precious during award season without additional pay. And Monique has shared that she felt unsupported and unfairly treated by these three influential figures in particular. Now, Tyler Perry has had a complicated relationship with Monique. And some people would say he has a complicated relationship with the truth. But in this private conversation, which she did appear to legally record, you'll hear Tyler Perry and Monique speak, and he acknowledges some of the issues that she's raised. Because you've not answered that question. That's a very simple question. I, I said to you earlier, Sydney, that that wouldn't be fair. I wouldn't think that that was fair. But what would you want to be done, answer. sir? How what would, would you, you want it fixed, Tyler? How would you want that fixed? And how would I want it fixed? Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. So that because I not and, and my husband is that part of our team that he has the business conversations. I'm the part of the team that you saw May 13th on the stage. So what I would ask you is because you're talking in Tyler Perry language, I would ask you to let Monique talk to Medea. Because when you start talking in Tyler Perry language, brother, you talk like you don't get it. Right, nigga. Right. You got to laugh at it because you know, because you know, because you know, see, let me tell you, let me tell you, Tyler, when you, when I watch your movies, when I watch your movies, I dig Medea. And you know why I dig her? You know why I dig her, Tyler? Because she could be your mother. You know why I dig her? You know why I dig her? Because that bitch is real to her gut. And she don't give a fuck how I come out. She don't give a fuck how it's taken. But everybody knows she love you. But she going to tell you the real shit. See, when you stepped away from Medea and you became Tyler Perry, the billionaire, this is the conversation you're having. Like, well, guys, what do you want me to do? What do you want me to say? See, you a brother that slept in your car. And you needed, and you needed niggas to fight for you to get you up out the goddamn car. See, your mama that you love so dearly. See, this is when I know that the, the, the powers that be and everybody saying on the radio and everybody saying on the media, oh my God, it's Oprah and Tyler. They're the ones that can employ her. Why ever would she say it? Because I love them niggas. That's why I'm saying it. Because I'm tired of reading the stories a hundred years from now where we had to go through this shit and we watch our brothers and sisters die and suffer in silence and in poverty and we know they was right so what i'm saying to you is medea make tyler's ass step his ass up i'm talking to medea right now medea i need you to pull tyler's ass in the back and say baby you watching this sister and you watching her family starve you're watching it and you're saying what do you want me to do listen don't you play with that baby like that you know the shit y'all did was wrong to her. You gave charity, you gave them four hundred to five hundred thousand dollars to charity, and you know that bitch got fifty thousand dollars. Where's my pistol, Brown? Where's my pistol? Cause I need to shoot this nigga. Now I'm not gonna kill him. I'ma shoot him in his ass to let him know Medea's mad as shit right now. <laughs> right. See, that's why I'm talking to my brother. So I appreciate you calling me. I do. I appreciate you calling us. But when you call me, what you gonna do? Well, let me let me let me say this. Let me say this, and I want to talk again. I'm gonna write you a check on it seriously because no, no, hear me, hear me, because this is the thing about this. And when we start talking about this, we're doing this and this, we're doing that. There's black people doing this, black people doing that. What would be the other thing about that? Is this where we are right now and what we're trying to do? We 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 got some opportunities that a lot of those people didn't have. So what what I don't want you to feel one day now I'm gonna tell you one day you're gonna feel that you were mistreated or that you were treated unfairly. Now, if that means that, that I, I, if that's what I need to do, then, then, then you, you do that. You do that. You take that and, you, and, 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 and take it from a place of love. Let
Let me tell you where I'm going to take it from. Let me tell you where I'm going to take it from. I'm going to take it from its business. And I'm going to take it from my brother saying, listen, yo, this is what y'all was supposed to get. No, here's the thing, brother. Well, I don't know what you were supposed to get. Here's what we're saying is, when you say, I don't know what it's supposed to be, but I'm going to send you the check. Listen, not charity, brother. I don't, we don't, because see, what happens is, what's not going to take place on our watch is this. I wrote a check for something that came in, and it's one of those things where you're missing the point. And we believe enough in the universe to understand that, listen, when a person come to you sincerely with understanding what it is that you're talking about versus just saying, I'm going to find out what it is and I'm going to write a check. Now it's in the tabloids. You wrote us a check because, you know, I know you flew Whitney Houston in on your private jet, you know, you gave T.D. Jakes a million dollars and the whole the way that this is being done. It's like, don't throw us no chump change because we had to go through a movie audit with Lee for monies that he didn't get. And they're saying that he did something with the money from the movie. Okay. These are the things that we had to deal with. So to speak about the dollars that you're going to. That's the thing that I have to, I have to deal with too because I lost the movie to Lionsgate. Listen to what I'm saying though. This is, but listen, Tyler, 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 this is what I need you to hear me. Hold on. In life, you can't walk around mad at everybody because one person did something to you. You must be able to compartmentalize where your frustrations lie. So when you say that you had the things going on with the movie and then you had it with Lee and then Monique, you're lumping everyone together. And that's what people of color have a tendency of happening to them. They get, they're all this way. See, if you just focus specifically on the interaction with Monique and yourself and I, it ain't never been anything but cordial, even in times of disagreement, because our thing is we not looking to. It's like we said on the podcast, who in the hell wrote the story about how David stepped to Goliath and said, let's roll, dog. Let's me and you get down. Y'all are Goliaths. We just the Davids. We not in no position to be trying to start. We're not looking to try to start any beef, but at the end of the day, all I'm asking you in your private time, because it's not going to happen right now on the phone, all I ask you in your private time is, how would you want to be treated if you were in a situation where people or a person put out something false about you? Then you say, then someone said that they didn't have the same experience with you. They're glad that they had a great experience this, with this is, this, is why, this is why I'm having trouble answering that question because it starts as a question and it goes in another direction. So one day I was on to you for a minute. Let, 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 me, let me stay with the question because you make a good point. Let me stay with the question. The question is, what would you want someone to do for you who said things about you and or mentioned things about you alluding to the difficulties that they had with you all because you chose okay, okay, okay. i'm not finished i'm not finished all because you I chose I can I can how can you answer something and i'm not finished okay well let me answer part of the question and then you can the other part How about that? can you do me a favor can you since you called up to have a real conversation typically i, I know you used to directing but what i need you to do is just hear me out man to man and that is this, how would you feel if someone says something about you that would, that you were not contractually obligated to do? What would you want them to do to make that right? And it don't have nothing to do with money. If somebody had said that, let's, let me just try to be in the position. If somebody had come along and said, Tyler's difficult, he's terrible to work with, he's not gonna do anything that you want him to do. He's, he's, he, he is, if they said all those things, right? That's what the rumor was, and 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 there were other people who knew that would not was not to be true. I would want those people to stand up and say that's not true. So, will you and Oprah do that? 
I can't speak for Oprah. I can't speak for Oprah. Will you do that? It's my experience. I, I, I certainly can. I, I, I've never worked with Monique. All I can speak for is my experience on pressure. I don't give a damn about saying, saying that, that. That would you do what you wanted done for you, Tyler? It's real simple. Would you do what you would want done for you? Because you at, you told David when he said his experience was wonderful, you said that was not your experience. And the question I would have, what did you experience with Monique and or I that made your, uh, your interaction with us displeasurable, especially... My interaction is pleasurable. It is to have to to try to navigate between Precious, Lee, Monique not wanting to do any any national press about getting paid, having to navigate through all of that. That's where my problem was. But but Tyler, but, but Tyler, Tyler man, I'm done. but Tyler, this is where we are though. I'm talking in real time. But when you understand, because you're again speaking about other entities and components besides Monique. What we're saying is what what made it this ple but but what I'm saying to you is I want your experience based upon your understanding that Monique, as we told you then, that when you sit by and you say nothing when you know it's wrong, as you now said you know and you agree, then what's the what what is the call really for, my brother? What is it? Okay. All right. I'm, I'm going to say this because I spent way too much time here. I thought that this would be a quick call that I could just call and say how I felt and, and to absolutely wish you the best. The but only see, way this changes, I think the only way the only way this changes, I think, for, for you guys and where you are is this. I think Monique needs an amazing movie. She needs a, she needs to be with a, a great director. And once the movie's done, it comes out, she gets all this kind of buzz. She gets all this this that she did before and then this thing goes away that's that's the way this changes it's got to be the right thing that comes along kind of some of the stuff that Octavia Spencer has been doing that comes to or, or Viola comes along she does that and all of this goes away you know, I know that, that, that town and how it works it's like okay oh that was a moment that's passed she's amazing that was wrong so what, you, what you're asking me to do right now, first of all, I'm not going to get into this right now because because it's ugly and it's nasty and, and it, it came from a comedy skit. I don't want to be a part what, of it. What is ugly and nasty, Tyler, about saying, because we're not talking about the comedy skit. You're obviously not hearing what I'm saying. Well, no, 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 this, this, no, 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 no. Here's the thing. You said, he, he, change he, early. you said you don't want any chump change. Does that mean you do not want the money for pressure or what? Wait, 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 my heart skipped a beat because I said, okay, we can ready to talk to a real cat because he reached out. But now the tone you're beginning to take is, I'm a billionaire and I ain't got time for this and it ain't going the way I thought it should. Wait, hold up, brother. Hold up. Hold up because see, you'll start over talking. I ain't got time for this and let me say this. And when you say chump change, here's the thing, baby. See, the community is involved right now. You know it and I know it, and everybody out there know it. The community is involved, and they want to see how it's going to play out. Because the community is saying, wait a minute, y'all. Hold up. We don't know this sister to be no bullshitter. We know she a loud mouth. We know she'll say some shit off the wall. But what we know about it is she true to a word. And all I would ask you is one que two questions. The first question is, did you not just say it was wrong? Tyler. Did you not just say it was wrong, Tyler? To say she was difficult for not doing something that she was not contractually obligated to do? Did you not say that you would feel that that was wrong? Or, or am I missing something? I, 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 I absolutely said that, yes. So the question I would say is, so the question I would say is, but I didn't mean to spend this much time on it because just like you were there with, with your beautiful twins, 
I got a little boy, and 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 I want to make sure when I'm off, that's where my attention. Is. Here's the so thing: I, then you should you, you shouldn't have made the call yeah. until you shouldn't have made the call yeah. until okay. you were able to talk. But the last question uh, I would ask you. Hold, now, hold up. The, the, last, the last thing I want to ask you is this. It's real simple. If you said it was wrong, when do you speak up and say that it was wrong, Tyler? That's it. Okay, then that means telling my whole experience, which about how I feel about the whole that means telling my whole listen 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 but 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 Tyler without explaining the whole situation Tyler Tyler here's the thing you are articulate you is smart okay and you is kind and you is kind okay listen to me listen listen to me listen this ain't the billionaire this is me Cut all that out. This is me talking to y'all. Then please talk to us, brother. Talk, talk to us real, then, because right. all I'm saying to you is that... I, 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 listen to me. I told you how I think that this changes. I told you how I think that this changes. All right, you guys. So you heard Tyler Perry did say that he felt it was wrong to say that Monique was difficult to work with when she was being asked to do something that she was not contractually obligated to do. He did admit it was wrong. And it seems as if they were grilling him to get him to make that statement. Monique shared in her interview at Club Shay Shay that them, Tyler Perry, Lee Daniels, and Oprah making statements that she is hard to work with has cost her millions of dollars. You guys leave a comment. Let me know what you think of Tyler Perry in this audio. What do you think of them grilling him? And what do you think of him admitting that what he did was wrong, but not being willing to publicly apologize? Leave a comment and share your thoughts. As always, thanks for watching. Layla, Layla.